What's going on world? Jacob here. Uh, coming at you this morning from my fly tying desk. Uh, some of you guys may be familiar with that. I did make a video about this new desk that I got. So if you haven't seen that, go check that out. But basically, I started tying flies. I've just been tying a couple weeks now. Um, I've basically tied every day. So I've been, uh, I've, I've been surprised at my uh, abilities. Um, I have improved and been able to tie some stuff. Um, basically, I just wanted to set my camera gear up and see if I could make a video. It's very difficult to get that first person perspective of a fly tying video so I was gonna see what I could do and um, come up with something you guys stay tuned if you're interested uh, I'm gonna do a fly tying video I'm gonna tie a peeping caddis or a peeking caddis um, this is a really good point fly for a euro setup um, basically it's a little bigger you can tie it in like 10 or 12s I'm probably gonna tie it in a 12 um, with a 3.8 millimeter bead so it's a good point fly it's um, really natural and buggy because you use um, like a hair's ear dubbing, but it also has some flash because you're using that chartreuse uh, braid. Um, you'll see whenever I get to tying it here, and um, it's just a little bit different. It's got some different aspects than your typical um, Euro nymph. And uh, I like it, it's kind of interesting, it's, and you don't see it a lot. Um, and it, it's been a fun one for me to learn, and uh, I, think it's, I think it's a good one, you guys will like it. So stay tuned, I'm gonna see what we can do here. So the first thing you wanna do is you want to clip off a piece of your uh, hairline pearl cord braid in the chartreuse. Um, you actually can get it uh, in uh, orange or different colors, but uh, I like to use the chartreuse and uh, so yeah, then what you want to do, um, you have to use the matching lighter, of course, and you want to burn the end, and you're going to give it that little, it's going to be like a little black head, and so you're going to catch it on fire, blow it out, and you'll see there, there yeah. See that kind of black head on the end? That really gives it a real lifelike look uh, on this caddis, you'll see. So anyway, do that first so you don't burn all your hackle off trying to do it at the end. So I really like to prepare my materials before I start um, just because it makes the process a little smoother and makes me um, remember the steps to each fly. So the next thing I'm gonna do is cut off a piece of this gold wire. I have my green braid, my gold wire. Um, I do have some crazy glue that I will use here in a bit. I do have a little bit of um, wax, dubbing wax that I will use. All right, I'm also going to use uh, Semperfly Nano Silk in uh, 18 aught in the color brown. Um, I really like this uh, Semperfly. Um, it's super super strong you basically don't have to worry about breaking it um, it is very very thin but uh, there's pros and cons to that uh, you, it's it's very forgiving you don't have to worry about building up too much bulk so um, yeah highly recommend getting a bobbin threader <laughs> if you know you know all right, and then uh, let's see what else here. Oh, for my um, for my legs, I am going to use some uh, Hungarian partridge feathers. The thing about these partridge feathers is they're very small and delicate, um, so you kind of have to pick through and find the right one. But they're really cheap; you get a ton of them. And honestly, like you can use other things, but I think these look really good and they work well. So, all right. And then the next thing we're going to do is grab my hook. <clears throat> I'm going to use a size 12, uh, fulling mill jig force, black nickel. Um, it's a really good, it's a good hook. It's a good Euro nap hook. And then I'm going to use a slotted tungsten bead, gold 3.8. Um, you can use different ones. Uh, definitely heavier the better. I would not go less than a 3.8, especially a uh, size 10 or 12, because um, this fly's got a decent amount of meat on it, so you need something to get it down anyways. Um, 
I would even go a little bit bigger, but this is what I've got. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is do a little thread base with our Simperfly Nano Silk in brown. And we're going to go back to right about where the bar would be on this hook. Let's measure that. Uh, that looks about right there, if you guys can see that. It's pretty thin, but yeah. All right, then we're going to tie in our uh, chartreuse braid here. So I want it sticking off the hook shank about a third of the hook shank. Um, doesn't really matter. I mean, something like that. I like to really, really cinch it down with this stuff. It's a thicker core stuff, so it wants to spin on the hook. I'll try to get it right on top. So we'll do that. And we'll come in here with our scissors and snip like that. And then the beautiful thing about this nano silk is you can just wrap and wrap and wrap and never, never worry about building up too much bulk. Um, however, the one downside is it is so thin it's hard to cover material but honestly it doesn't really matter that this material is not covered and you'll see why so then we're going to wrap back to our tie in point right out there all right and we're going to add our legs and so this is where we're going to grab our partridge feather um i've already sort of Bring the feathers back. Um, a little bit more there. So you can kind of get an idea of what that's going to look like. And um, yeah, let's see what we can do here. We'll go right there. And we are going to throw a tie in. Just like that. Now you don't have to, but I'm going to come in here and cut the tip there. Throw a couple more wraps just to secure it before I start wrapping it. Okay, now this is one of the more difficult parts of this because this partridge feather is so small. Um, you want to start to wrap this around the hook. Shank. And don't really worry about preening the feathers backwards. They're going to be sticking everywhere. Um, but you'll see why. You'll see why. In a, whoops. Hit the camera. Um, you'll see why in a second. The biggest thing is just try to get some decent wraps. At least two, maybe two and a half wraps there. Um, so like I've got that, and so let's throw our thread and really try to keep these from going anywhere for right now. Okay, so if you've done that, now you be very careful here and clip off just our excess here okay like so now it looks like you've got a mess so what you want to do is you want to sort of preen these fibers back this is kind of hard this is the part that can make it or break it but hey it doesn't have to be perfect the fish don't care And you want to sort of start to wrap back on this to try and keep the feathers pointing towards the rear of the fly. Like so. Alright, so we're going to 
tie in our rib. I want to tie in this rib facing you. Look a little. You want to tie this back into the tie in point. And then I'm going to place it back here on my material clip on my vise. And then comes the fun part. Uh, which is the dubbing. So, we're going to start back right here. Alright, so with the dubbing, one thing about this um, Nano Silk and not any of these GSPs, they do not dub anywhere near as good as um, an actual thread. So, I recommend using wax, it will help your dubbing stick better. So, I'm going to pick out from my um, SLF spiky dubbing. This is squirrel and natural gray. Um, one thing I've learned so far in my short fly tying career is uh, less is more with dubbing. So, I always try to start with as little as possible. Um, you can always build it up. But uh, it's, it's, try to make a small noodle. All right, so we're going to start dubbing that. Um, there's that. We'll grab a little more. Dub that. Now, another technique that I've learned is to, uh, to really get that noodle tight is to dampen my fingers with my mouth and then really spin up your dubbing noodle there. It's all right, the fish won't care. But I have to tell myself that a lot. All right, so you get your dubbing noodle and I'm going to try to do this and not hit the camera. And you want to start right there and see if you can start your dubbing. Just like that. Now, it's pretty thick, it's pretty spiky, but um, I kind of like it. Uh, it depends. You can make it more or less buggy, or you can come back in here and trim out some of it, which we might do in a minute. But either way, there's that. Um, so now, um, there's different ways to do this. I do have a rotary vise, so I use it sometimes. I'm going to throw in a little wood finish and use my um, bobbin holder here. Do that. And now, we're going to wrap our wire. Now, we wrapped our dubbing in a clockwise motion, so we're going to do this counterclockwise. Um, so we'll start out underneath, and we're spinning the vise away from us, and we're just going to wrap and try to make some good tight wraps. Um, now this, you don't have to do this, but it does add an extra dimension and some rigidity and stuff to the fly, so. So there we go. We got to about there. And then I'm going to spin my bobbin holder back out of the way. And we'll tie this off. All right, and then we can helicopter. That's a long helicopter. All right, so once we break off our gold rib there, pretty much we're going to finish the fly. So uh, what I like to do 
is take a little bit of crazy glue. You don't have to do this, but it does add some strength. I'm gonna put a little bit on the thread there. couple tight turns right at the head and then really just do a whip finish um, one two three four you can do two I don't know that's the beautiful thing oops that's the beautiful thing about this um, Simplify Nano Silk uh, two is one back doesn't build up bulk so you can just whip finish the crap out of it <laughs> and cut it and there we go that is pretty much the peeping caddis. Now, if you want to get real picky, you can come back in here and you can kind of clip off some of this excess there. And yeah, let's see what that looks like. See if we can get it to focus. Uh, yeah, let's see, maybe. There we go. So there's that. Um, I don't know. It's It's got a good size profile. It's got some uh, little bit of color there with the green. Uh, yeah, it's a good fly, real buggy. And um, I like this kind of as, as another option to a Pat's rubber legs or something like that. Um, sometimes a Pat's is a little too big and scary. And uh, this is a good option. So there you go. All right guys, so that's it. Uh, that is my fly tying video for a peeping or peeking caddis as you may see. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys want to see more fly tying videos, please let me know in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe to the video. That really helps with the channel. And uh, once again, I'm sure I'll get some comments. Uh, I am not a professional fly tire. Once again, I've just been tying for a couple weeks. It's just something I really enjoy, something I'm, I'm you know, finding a lot of, a lot of uh, joy in. And uh, I hope you guys can see kind of what's capable um, if you just really sit down and put your mind to it and start tying. Uh, I wasn't sure I would even be able to tie flies or like get the hang of it. Like when I first, I mean, it's kind of like riding a bike. When I first started, I mean, I couldn't even wrap the thread and I was like breaking thread and um, you know, it's, it's, but you put your mind to it and you spend a little time and you can quickly learn. And I just think it's cool. Hopefully if there's somebody out there that's looking to get into fly tying, um, uh, maybe this will be a, uh, you know, inspiration for you to get out there and get you advice and start tying. Uh, it is possible and it's really cool. I, I uh, finally have caught some fish on flies that I've tied. I'm already almost exclusively starting to use flies that I've tied and uh, that's pretty cool. So, um, anyway, it adds a whole nother dimension to your uh, fly fishing and um, it's just something to do like today for instance literally it's raining um, we've had a system coming through and normally I would be going fishing but I couldn't go fishing today um, just wasn't gonna be the right condition so I said you know what I'll sit down and tie some flies might as well make a video so once again thank you guys for watching uh, let me know what else you want to see if you want to see more fly time videos once again thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe